Hello, this is Mrs. Johnson. We are going to be revisiting multi-step equations today. And this time we are looking at equations with items in parentheses. Now remember that if you have things in parentheses, there is an invisible multiply sign, which means that you need to distribute whatever is in front to whatever's on the inside of the parentheses. We need to multiply whatever's on the outside to whatever's on the inside. For instance, in example one, we are going to be multiplying the negative four times a positive one, and we're multiplying the negative four times a negative six a. So we need to get rid of the parentheses before we start doing anything else. Here we go. We're going to distribute and what that's going to give us is a negative 4 times 1, which is negative 4. And then when I do a negative 4 times negative 6, a negative times a negative is positive. So that's going to be a positive 24a. The left side, we just leave the way it is, 24a minus 22. Um, so now we need to get our variables to one side of the equation and our constants to the other. So if you notice, our variables have our variable expressions are exactly the same. When I subtract 24a from both sides, I am going to end up with negative 22 equals negative 4. Now is that possible? It's impossible. So that means that this equation has no solution. That's always a possibility. Now when you get a no solution, you should always go back, double check that you've done things right, that you haven't left off a sign, um, that your answer makes sense. Let's move on to example two. We've got lots of parentheses in example two. So again, to get rid of the parentheses, we need to distribute or multiply the outside term times both of the inside terms. And this time we're going to be doing it twice, once on each side. So on the left side, 5 times negative 8 is a negative 40x. And then I have a 5 times negative 2 is a negative 10. I still have the 4x. And then on the right side, I still have the negative 8x. I'm going to distribute the 5. So 5 times 1 is 5 and 5 times negative 5 is negative 25x. Now, I have a lot of terms here, so I need to start combining like terms on each side. So if we just look at the left side, we have two variable terms, negative 40x and positive 4. Um, we can look at this as either negative 40 plus 4, or I can do 4 minus 40. Either way, I end up with negative 36x. I still have the minus 10. Okay? On the other side, I have two variable terms, which I can combine. And when I combine those, I get negative 33, because negative 8 minus 25, since they have the same sign, I'm going to add them and they're going to become a bigger negative. So this is negative 33x plus 5. Now, you can get rid of any term you want, like I said in the previous video, but again, I suggest getting rid of the smallest variable term. So the question is, is, is the negative 36 smaller or is the negative 33 smaller? Remember that with negatives, this is going to be the smaller negative. It's further left on the number line. So I am going to add 36x to both sides and simplify. These subtract to 0. I have negative 10 equals, when I combine those, I get 3x plus 5. Again, the goal is to have a constant on one side of the equal sign, or a constant on one side of the equation, and a variable term on the other. Since I only have one variable term, I'm going to get rid of the 5 next. So I'm going to subtract 5, do the inverse operation on both sides, 
And again, remember that a negative plus another negative just becomes a larger negative. We are going to add them because they have the same sign and end up with negative 15 equals 3x. Last step, there is an invisible multiply there, so to get rid of that invisible multiply, I divide both sides by 3, and I end up with x equaling negative 5.